here on the left hand side is the old school, the Met School. It consolidated in the early 1990s due to financial uh, costs from the state, and low enrollment. Uh, it's really a sad story because a lot of schools around this area closed due to, you know, enrollment issues, finances, and just the overall state being cheap. Uh, the mascot for this town is the Cardinals, and you'll see Cardinal shirts occasionally in this community because of how dedicated they were to their school. Okay, over here on the right, we've got Wyckoff Shop. Uh, he does inspections. And over here, you got an old service station where I think somebody was doing service there for a while and they stopped. Okay, now we're entering the main way. Okay, you got the postal service at Metz. You got the bandstand, the old post office, the bank. Now over there used to be the bar, but it fell in recently. Here you have the park, Metz. Over here you have the elevator. That's kind of the tour for Mets. Part is Reinhardt. You can see the curve coming up. Do it. And this is Reinhardt right here. A smaller community was pretty much railroad based. Back from the 1890s, you can find old train schedules that would take you from Richards to Hoover, which is Sodesbury, to Reinhardt. You'd have to made it to Reinhardt as a train. On the left, right here, is the Reinhardt Church, and on the right is the Reinhardt Cemetery. Now the Reinhardt Church is a pretty large church for this area because it encompasses all the rural area that are in these parts. And that pretty much covers Reinhardt. I'm going to make a part three because most of the is pretty much on the way home. I was going to save it for a future video, but I think I'm going to do Stokesbury as well. Now the first part of the Stokesbury thing is this bridge I'm about to drive under, the iconic Stokesbury Railroad Overpass Bridge. Aww. Then this, this cemetery here, East Liberty, also a few miles west, also has a West Liberty. It's really interesting that the Liberty Cemeteries have an east and a west side, but they're five to ten miles apart. 
now we're heading into Stotesbury. And this here is the town of Stotesbury. The population, I think, is 30 or 40. And there's the elevator. Like Foster is pretty overgrown. There's the old Grange. Actually, weirdly enough, the Grange in Stotesbury was actually on the uh, same day I was born, December 4th, was when it was founded, which is kind of interesting fact to know. Found this that curve. That's pretty much it for Stotesbury. Now, a few miles to the west was the original town, which was Hoover. But when Stotesbury got the railroad, Hoover got to die, because that's what usually happens in that time with towns. Basically, the town that got the railroad was the town that lived, and the town that didn't get the railroad was the one that died. And in that case, Hoover didn't get the railroad, so Hoover pretty much died and became Stotesbury. And there's a little bit of Stotesbury over here. Kind of missed before I closed off. Now we're coming up to the bridge over the Little Osage. Now this area is really prone to flooding. Uh, it gets pretty bad during the spring because this area was floods out. You see the water gauge right there? Yeah, it pretty much floods out about every summer. Alright, well that's all my videos for today, so if you like them, like and subscribe.